push to rebuild Minneapolis after violent unrest and the pandemic's economic impact. Mayor Jacob Fry says parts of the city not only need help physically rebuilding, but rebuilding relationships and inclusion too. The mayor spoke just over an hour ago. Our Marielle Mose was there. Let me know in Marielle, what does the mayor mean here? Well, Shayla, the mayor means here is he doesn't want this rebuild to leave anybody behind, which is why the city is investing specifically in disenfranchised areas throughout Minneapolis, as well as entrepreneurs of color. An example of that is this barber shop right behind me. It's a Latino owned business here on East Lake Street, and it's the owner is not only a business owner, but now a property owner as well. He owns his own space thanks to the city's help. So through this program, the city is helping uh, business owners own their own property by covering around the third of the costs to buy their space. The loan lasts for 40 years, no interest, no payments. And if the business stays under the same ownership or at least stays in the family during those 40 years, the loan is forgiven. The hope is that all these businesses are a return on investment for the city because these businesses will not only survive, hopefully, but they will create general generational wealth for the owner and the owner's family as well as the business. The hope is that the, invest, the business invests back into the city. And this is happening all over Minneapolis, not just Lake Street. It's also happening on Franklin Avenue, Nicola Avenue, and in North Minneapolis. They're focused on areas that were greatly impacted by the unrest in 2020 as well as the pandemic and especially BIPOC-owned businesses. Our goal was to make sure that we recreate uh, the black middle class in Minneapolis. Uh, the mayor has really put a focus on that. The entire work group thought that was very important. So as we move forward, we want to make sure we focus on these communities that historically have been left out. And this program also is investing in not just businesses, but affordable housing options as well. And uh, this, the city's using a guideline to decide what businesses would qualify for this loan. And one of the key qualifying factors for this barbershop, Shayla, was the fact that it's also a barber school. So it's really a, a business that not only helps the community, but it helps grow and develop new barbers within Minneapolis as well. So that was really a, a key point. This is one of 15 businesses the city has already closed on. This is an ongoing enrollment program, so if you're hearing this for the first time and you want to see if your business qualifies, you can apply at any time. There's no cutoff date. Training the next, next generation, Marielle. Thank you so much for your report.